Now, I never thought I would discuss her on this show, but Oprah Winfrey kicked up a storm recently when she complained about a store clerk's refusal to sell her a very expensive handbag. And this incident happened in uh, Switzerland, of all places. A best of the Web Today columnist James Taranto wrote a column, said it wasn't systematic racism, it, it, it was actually a story about class. So, James, Welcome. Uh, we're going to have you respond to some readers' comments here. I'm going to put the first one up on the screen, and I quote James, Oprah's experience can be better explained if not viewed from an American perspective on race. Likely the salesperson sees the customer for an overpriced purse to be from the oil-rich Middle East, where money is really no object. It is not inconceivable that the salesperson was trying to do Oprah a favor by steering her to the best value. That's from George Finley. Yeah, I didn't mention this in my column because I don't really know how these high-end women's accessories stores work. I, I don't spend a lot of time shopping in places like that in any case, uh, or even at the disc discount places. But I, I heard from a number of my readers who said, yeah, these high-end stores uh, where they charge full price, this handbag was $38,000 or 35,000 Swiss francs. Uh, my readers tell me that these are intended for uh, extremely well-heeled uh, foreigners from the Middle East and China uh, who uh, both have lots of money and don't have a lot of uh, retail savvy. Okay, well, I don't know. How, how does that make Oprah feel better, though? I mean, doesn't have... Uh I don't know. From, from, from the Middle East and China, I mean, that just well, implies look, a sort of profiling in and of itself, o doesn't o it, Joe? Yeah, but Oprah <laughs> is an incredibly wealthy woman, but she earned her money, which means she's probably not the kind of person to spend $38,000 on a handbag. And in fact, she said after this whole uh, supposed racism incident, incident that when she found out how much the bag <laughs> cost, she realized she wouldn't have bought it anyway. <laughs> okay, let's put the second reader comment up on the screen, and I quote, I'm sure that James knows there is no Swiss language, but three official languages, German, French, and Italian, with each being the primary depending on location. Since this was Zurich, I am sure the clerk was a native German-speaking individual. Although my experience in Zurich, she most likely also spoke very good, if not excellent, English, Steve Bunton. I noticed the same thing, James. Did you mean Swiss German? Well, I, what I said was that uh, I, Oprah probably doesn't speak Swiss. And I guess I could have left out the probably. Uh, but uh, actually, what I read in one of the news stories was that the sales clerk is an Italian speaker and uh, that her English isn't that good. Okay, so that might account for her offer to show Oprah another bag, not a, not well, a racial seems, issue. There, there seems to have been a language barrier. The, the owner of the store said that, uh, that, that Oprah completely misunderstood that what the clerk was trying to do was... Uh, uh, was show her that the same bag was available in different colors. And the, the owner made one good point. She said, why would anyone not want to sell a handbag for $38,000, <laughs> $35,000 Swiss francs? <laughs> okay, let's, let's put in the other reader comment up. And I quote, even assuming it was not a case of language, but a case of out-and-out -out snobbery, why assume race has anything to do with it? I assume if my wife walked into that store and asked to see a $38,000 bag, the clerk would have responded identically. In other words, why is the first response racism? Kenneth Perlman. Amen, Kenneth. That was my question, too. James, your response. Well, when he talks about how the clerk would respond to his wife, uh, I, I think he's, he hopes for that uh, more than he uh, expects it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the idea that in Switzerland people have the attitudes about race typical, the characteristic of the southern United States in 1950 is just ridiculous. There's a certain uh, provinciality to this uh, reaction of, uh, of seeing racism. And by the way, this isn't the first time that Oprah Winfrey has had an incident like this. Uh, eight years ago, according to the New York Daily News, she was offended when she uh, tried to go to an Hermes store, I think that's how you pronounce it, in Paris, and they wouldn't let her in, and it was just past closing time. Now. Normally, when a store is past closing time, they don't <laughs> let you in. Isn't that what uh, what closed or fermé means? Hard to hard to say no to Oprah, or I guess in France, it isn't. Best of the web today, columnist James Taranto. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks.